Hi there, my name is Bruno and I'm a lecturer at Maynooth University. Today I want to talk to you about a workshop in spatial data that I'll be giving in the first term. This workshop is open to every student, so both to undergraduates and postgraduates, and will consist in four interactive online seminars of about one and a half hours each. It will take place between week three and six, every Wednesday from 11 to 12.30. In this workshop, you'll get plenty of insights on one of the fastest growing fields in economics, namely the application of GIS data. And you will learn how to use the free and powerful software QGIS. There won't be any final exam and no credits will be awarded, but you will get a certificate of attendance. More importantly, you will learn a lot about spatial data that, as you can see from this graph, has been more and more commonly used by economic studies. So it is definitely a field that is worth investing in. In particular, you will learn plenty of useful skills for your academic career, such as learn to access and use new exciting data sources, but also learn how to make fancy looking maps that perhaps you want to include in your final dissertation. More importantly, perhaps, these skills are also very valuable outside of academia. In particular, spatial data applications are becoming more and more common in international companies, central banks, and private consultancies. So presumably, the type of jobs you are targeting once you're done with your degrees. This is a very recent field, and as such, you will find very few competitors out there. Therefore, it will give you a huge competitive advantage in finding a new and exciting job. On top of that, let me stress that I believe that using this data really is great fun. Just to give you a rough idea of the type of data we'll be looking at, have a look at this map that shows at a very narrow level the land use in County Dublin. So we can see where residential areas are more common, where instead land is used for commercial purposes or for parks or for farming. Such map is key and very useful in determining where infrastructures are most needed or where are the most optimal places to build up new residential spaces that, now, that Dublin needs so badly these days. Another example of widely used spatial data is this one that uses uh, uh, satellite imaginary to show where light intensity is at its highest during night. This data have been used to determine exactly where economic activities take place. Another example of a spatial data that I used recently for my own research is this one that shows the exact location of every single favela in Rio, as well as the welfare outcomes of the people living there. So, as you can see, no matter what your field is, you will find some spatial data that will help you a lot in your research or will give you plenty of insights on economic issues. Just to show you some applications of spatial data from my own research, here you can see this map of Uganda that shows the ease of access of farmers to agricultural market. And I show that the lower the transportation costs are to the closest agricultural market, the better the welfare outcomes of farmers. That is to say, when you link farmers to market, you really are able to improve their living condition. This is another map that I created where I showed the increase or decrease of the importance of mining activities across the country. And I use that to show the welfare impact on mines of the local population. Is it a good thing if you live beside a mine? Does it mean that you're going to get a higher wage and perhaps new job opportunities? Or is the pollution coming from mining activities uh, offsetting these potential benefits? These are all questions that I was able to answer using spatial data. To go a bit closer home, this is a map that I created based on an algorithm that shows what are the most common routes used by cycling community in Dublin and the level of safety that they experienced. Does building cyclist-friendly infrastructure help people to stop using cars or not? And where are the areas in Dublin where we should intervene in order to obtain this goal? Again, 
a very wide uh, number of economic issues that can be tackled using spatial data. The seminars will be roughly divided in two parts. In the first one, we will look at some uh, very neat application of spatial data in economics, such as uh, um, how will climate change affect food security in the next 30 years throughout the world? So where is, gonna, um, is uh, global warming going to hit harder and which countries are instead going to be relatively spared? Or we're going to see how spatial data were used to see whether political leaders favor their place of origin when making decisions or whether they actually do what is good for uh, uh, the whole country. In the second part, instead, we will get our hands dirty and learn actually to use spatial data using the free and powerful software QGIS. I will give you a step-by-step -step introduction to this free software and show you how to create fancy-looking maps to display your data. On top of that, I will also give you some tips, practical tips, to use spatial data for your own economic applications. As I've shown in this slide, I have quite a lot of experience in using spatial data for economic issues, and therefore I will be also very happy to help you out with any dissertation or research project you might have. So this is the interactive part of the seminars. I will be very, very happy to take questions and to help you out in case you have any autonomous project you would like to work on. So I'm really looking forward to hearing from you. And you're very welcome to contact me at bruno.morando at mu.ie for any questions on the seminar. I really believe that it's a great occasion for you to invest some time in a very valuable asset, that is to say, GIS skills. So I really hope you will be joining me for these seminars. Thank you very much.